Hi there, Bonnie Power here. Today I wanted to talk to you about how LinkedIn can help you with your career, even if you're not looking at something, or looking at moving any time in the next 12 months. So as you know, I've talked in previous um, videos, LinkedIn's really good to generate leads and build your network, but this is about personal branding. Um, now they say by the year 2020, we're gonna have 50% of the population as contractors. So people are going to be hired um, and they'll need their own ABN number. So um, more and more and more, the workforce, each individual person is gonna to have to consider themselves a business unit. And, um, and I want you to consider yourself as a business unit, if you, especially if you're working for somebody else at the moment. Um, and part of a, being a business is that you need to do marketing in order to generate opportunities and to, to get prospective clients or prospective employers to notice you. So LinkedIn is really the place to build that platform. Yes, you can have your own website, you know, yourname.com.au if you like, but it's really important um, LinkedIn because it's such, it ranks so highly in the search engines. When someone Googles your name, uh, your LinkedIn profile is going to show up. So it's really important that they see a really good first impression. So there's a few particular important parts and I'm going to just touch on them today for the purposes of really building up your personal brand. And today I'm going to show you how to um, create blog posts and your summary section so that you are getting a, building up your reputation for exactly what you want to be known for. So yes, the, the most important sections are your, your photo. So you need to make sure you've got a really good photo that you're really proud of. Um, the headline underneath your name is really important. That's got to say, you know, who you are and what you do and, and perhaps who you help. Um, and then underneath is this, this section for blog posts. So um, this is where you've got to be building up your reputation, building up your brand. And what I said, I actually just met with a CEO now and I asked him, what do you want to be known for? Um, what are some of the things that you've developed a really good reputation for over the last five to ten years? And what do you want to do in the future? Because whatever that is, you want to start creating blog posts and articles or videos around that topic so that prospective recruiters or employers can see what you're passionate about, what you're good at and what you really know about. So, um, and then, you know, thinking about the type of industries that you want to move into. But so those blog posts is the number one priority. Um, and this is where they talk about thought leadership. So it's about thinking, you know, maybe five or six blog posts, if you can write over the next six to 12 months, that really talk about, um, you know, giving helpful generic advice and recommendations based on your years of experience. Um, so that, that's the first thing, like that's just sort of to put it onto the, to the radar. Those blog posts are, are incredibly important to really solidify you as an industry um, specialist or an expert, um, the go-to person in your industry. Um, and it has to be compelling language and I definitely would get help with editing it and making it sound extra, um, you know, extra impressive as well. Um, and then as you uh, move on in your career, you know, um, usually a CEO um, will work for a period of time in those senior executive level roles. And then they'll perhaps look at um, board work or perhaps working as a consultant. So all of this work that you're doing, building up your brand, building up, you know, writing these blog posts, it is going to be good for now in the next 12 months, the next two years, if you are looking for other roles. But it's just beautiful because it just works forever more. Um, when someone Googles your name, they're going to see that blog post there and, and they're going to be able to see what you know and how you articulate yourself and how you express and you know your communication style. So once you've built up those, um, you know, written those blog posts and your summary section looks good, I um, you know, it's written in a conversational style, um, then what you want to do is actually start going out and proactively building up your network on LinkedIn. And this is where you think about, you know, use the industry section, um, you know, when you're looking up for different people, really have a look at um, connecting up with the decision makers within the companies and the industries that you want to work with ideally in say two, three, four, maybe 10 years time. So you're building up that network. Um, 
and and see where they hang out. See if you can get um, into that offline networking where you're meeting these people in workshops or um, you know the, the Australian Institute of Company Directors, for example. Like if you're looking at doing a, a board role, you would do that course, and then that would network you up with like-minded people and just expanding your network so that come the day that you want to be a consultant or another business owner or you want to be considered for another role um, or be a board director, whatever. Um, you've got those connections in place. So you can all you can do all of this on LinkedIn. Um, it's really amazing. It's really good for building up your um, your your network um, and really um, solidifying yourself as an expert in your industry. Um, that'll help you attract um, inquiries with regards to your employment and your availability. So I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions, please feel free to give us a call on 1300 979 640 or you can email me at bonnie at perfectboom.com. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.